All right, everybody. We're getting nice and spicy here with the oath to set or the oath to unify Nusantara. Let's go. As I feared, our king died this afternoon from an unknown illness. Yeah, it's called poison. Instead, Tribuana became queen regent. Her first act as queen was to retire the prime minister and give his position to me. Without hesitation, I swore an oath in front of everyone. I would not indulge in any pleasures until I had conquered... The oh, what? No, it's supposed to be spices. ...for the glory of the Majapahit. Yeah, that's why I said things were getting spicy. Okay. Uh, defeat two of the three enemies, and at least three colonies must exist and have a market. Top limit of 150. Uh, once your colonies build a market, they will send you resources. Uh, send resources to your colonies to help them grow faster. If the colony is destroyed, although they will try to send more colonists later on. So don't worry if your colonies get destroyed. They'll, they'll come back. Uh, restricted pop limit. It's a good idea to rely on fortifications. Yes. And the Sunda will not go on the offensive unless you attack them first or expand it into their territory. Okay, the Majapahit control the eastern half of Java, while Sunda controls the western half. It's, isn't Sunda yellow? Yeah, what the hell? They totally messed that up. Noobs! Um, but yeah, they are not, they're not our biggest threat. You can see they even start in feudal age. Um, our colonies will be on their uh, respective islands. For some reason, they aren't like Bali settlers, Sulawesi settlers, or northern slash southern Borneo settlers. They all have the same name, just to be confusing. Uh, west of Java is Sumatra and the kingdom of Dharmashraya. Uh, the kingdom wields a strong force of swordsmen, crossbowmen, ballista elephants, galleons, and fire ships, and they're the most likely to attack us. Uh, they're Khmer. Not historically, but for, you know, gameplay diversity. And to the north lies Malaysia, the part of Asia. They have broken free from their former overlords and built the mighty city of Singapore. Sort of. Uh, they compete with us over control of the sparsely inhabited islands, which we are trying to colonize. They focus on destroying our colonies before attacking our home island. They will train arbalests, cannon, uh, champions, cavalier, bombard cannons, galleons, demo ships, and cannon galleons. Oh boy. I am sending colonists to the nearby islands. If you can protect them from our enemies, they can provide you with resources. Alrighty. So you can see that this is uh, one of the first or few full naval scenarios. Well, mostly naval. Which makes sense, you know, with the Malay campaign set in Indonesia, all that stuff. But the first two scenarios were, like, entirely land-focused, so now we actually get to flex our naval might. Anyway, Bali is here to the east, in case you are unfamiliar with Indonesian geography. I did study Southeast Asia a little bit, or do study Southeast Asia a little bit. As it is certainly relevant to Northeast Asia, what with being to the southeast. Yeah. So I know, I know a fair bit of, like, Indonesian history. Like, uh, the Machapahit Empire was famous for... Uniting all of Malaysia, or Indonesia, rather, for the first time. Which is why the uh, famous Nusantara Oath from Gajamada, who was the dude who who is the campaign's about. A uh, big university in Jakarta is Gajamada, Gajamada University. So he's a big national figure in Indonesia.
Anyway, due to the infrastructure, or not infrastructure, but just structure of the map, uh, despite, you know, this being an archipelago, uh, Borneo goes to the north, of, like, it goes to the edge of the map. So, other than this narrow straight, straight, straight between Java, where we are, eastern Java, and Borneo is the only way that your enemies can sneak by to raid your settlers that are going to be on Bali and uh, Sulawesi. Fishing ships are going to be super nice because then we can spend our wood on those and food on villagers. And then we can use the villagers to collect wood and then the fishing ships to gather food. It's so synergistic. Anyway, we're just exploring the waters to the east. Uh, we'll have settlers uh, attempt to set make colonies on both northern and southern Borneo, uh, but they will be doomed to die, almost certainly, at least for, uh, for a little bit, because Tumashik will kill them right away. And as you guys can see, uh, Tumashik and Dharmasraya are in Imperial Age, and we're not. So we need to get going a little bit, or like get our eco going and stuff. Okay, I think that should be fine for fishing ships. Settlers have arrived in Sulawesi. Yes, they have. Sulawesi is kind of a, a goofy shape. It's like a bunch of little tendrils almost. Whereas everyone else is more or less a blob. Which is, of course, the uh, the technical term for that shape of an island. Oh, I guess Sulawesi actually does extend all the way over there. Um, but yeah, we really don't have much to get going, and we don't have many resources either. Kind of have to go from island to island pretty quickly. And we're going to need to rely on castles and towers to defend ourselves, which is why I'm gathering so much stone so quickly. And honestly, like, Gajamata is one of the harder campaigns out there, in my opinion. I don't know why it's only, me like, considered medium difficulty. I feel like it should be uh, hard... I mean, you saw the first two scenarios are kind of grindy. And I am theoretically a, you know, experienced player. Emphasis on theoretically. Anyway, we do have a 150 pop limit, so we're going to go up to three town centers, as well as our docks. Even if we don't have a ton of resources with which to work, the fact that we have... So, a uh, few villagers to start with means we, we really should be getting three TCs. Docks help out, though. In fact, we're going to get gill nets soon. Oops. Come on, I want my gill nuts. So, like people are going to southern Borneo. Okay, once the stone runs out, we can build a castle right here, because space is limited, obviously. Uh, try being the operative word. Yeah. 
Perfect. Then we can build some docks around here. We'll help our fishing ship efficiency. And, of course, uh, provide protection, which is going to be even more important, honestly. But the town center should help uh, protect any incursions from Sunda, who, as the intro said, aren't the most aggressive enemies out there. Docks over this way. Oh, hello. Uh, got him. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is the only gap in which they can pass through to eastern, uh, the eastern half of the map. Or I guess this eastern little bit where Sulawesi and Bali are. Whom we need to protect. Oh, I need a university. Okay, well, sure, why not? Soon to hit Castle Age. I don't really care. Um, really? Where are they going? They're not going to attack Bali, are they? Really, they're attacking Bali with one two-handed swordsman? What about all the tourists? Bali is a, a big tourist destination. Because uh, it is the only major uh, Hindu-majority part of... Indonesia today, which is, of course, a majority Muslim country. In fact, the largest in the world. The Majapahit Empire was actually Hindu. Islam didn't arrive for another... Well, in it, it was there, but not super huge for another couple centuries. Starting in the west, and then spreading further east uh, from Arab traders, mostly. But before then, some sort of mixture of Hinduism, Buddhism, and uh, traditional beliefs were the dominant religions in Indonesia. Ooh, let's get this guy. Heated shot, heated shot, heated shot. Yeah, harbors are going to be pretty nice. Oh! Hey, Sunda, I thought you weren't going to be aggressive. That's actually quite aggressive looking. Just to be extra safe, we're gonna get a tower over here. Okay. Just making sure none of Tumashik's ships snuck by. <laughs> well, there goes my university. We still need upgrades, because fortifications very important here, as you can see. 
But the guard towers are helping out a bunch. Hopefully we, we can get to Imperial Age before not uh, before too long. So much idle time. Feels bad, man. Pick up to Imp in just a second. Whoa, hey! So much going on. Okay, Imp. Oh boy. Yeah, masonry would be nice. Stop raiding me! Yeah, they're not going to last too long. Yeah, this this Tumashik camp here in western Borneo, it uh, is not too nice to the uh, poor settlers. All of these tributes I do appreciate quite a bit, though. Don't have plus two. Ah. Oh no, they snuck past and attacked Sulawesi, just like I was worried about. Anyway, we can get our Imperial Age upgrades. Should help quite a bit. And we still have a pretty decent amount of resources left on Eastern Java. They they can try. But yeah, don't worry too much, like I said, if your uh, colonies get destroyed. At least right away. You are going to need to have them up eventually. But Bali is... For the most part, pretty safe. Sulawesi can only, you know, only gets attacked sometimes. And then the other two are in uh, more or less constant danger. Anyway, the way this scenario pans out, I forget if I said this or not, but regardless, uh, we need to defeat two of our three enemies, as well as keep the colonies alive. So... What that really boils down to in practice is you need to defeat either Tumashik or Dharmashraya and then kill Sunda. Because it's kind of hard not to kill Sunda because they're like right here <laughs> and they're the weakest. How's Louisi doing? Not great. So I have this cavalier here too. Not a whole lot I can do about that. But still, we're at an okay villager count. Resources are not looking good, but we still have a actually we still have an okay amount to mine. My biggest concern is when when we run out of gold. Because that's going to happen in not too, too long. And then I don't know what to do. I mean, you can trade for like 10 gold with our allies, but that's uh, not especially great. I 
Anyway, in case you're wondering, Heated Shot does affect Harbors, but it only affects them in the way that they affect Castles, which is uh, plus four attack. However, plus four attack isn't half bad. Damn. We even have a keeps. Let's get another one. Oh yeah, I don't have the food for that. Do I have shipwright done? Almost. Alright, chip time. Okay, it looks like Sulawesi is Sula Safi. Cannon Galleon obviously going to be super important. Oh yeah, so pretty much the big distinction between killing Tumashik or Dharmashraya is that Dharmashraya is on uh, Sumatra. So they are, have a much larger island and you need a big land army to take them down because they have a big land army. Uh, whereas Tumashik is mostly bombardable by water and they have almost entirely a navy. So it's like, do you want to go for like the amphibious landing approach thing? Or do you want to go for uh, full water? And I think for this time, we're going to go full water. Okay, now we're going to have all our upgrades at the dock. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of in the spirit of the scenario to go full water. We try to conquer all of uh, Western Indonesia. I mean, the next scenario is just going to be uh, pretty similar, but just uh, conquering Eastern Indonesia. But we're not there yet. Yeah, Keeps will help us a fair bit. Hey, I see you there, Tumashik. Oh, yeah, these guys are, are so dead. Gonna try an ECG down their TC. There's some, there's some acronyms. Because they don't have a castle, they just have the TC. Oh, that might not be enough. Oh, hey, don't do that. Still, our navy is growing. Thankfully, we can always count on the AI being dumb. Once that ship's cleaned up, I think we're fine. But now we're running into the ye old problem of gold, please. Because there isn't any gold left over here, as I recall. So what we're going to need to do is make a transport ship and go on over to southern Borneo. But our navy's looking pretty good. Okay. Think they resign? Maybe? Hopefully? They destroyed their town center. Okay. 
T-port ship. I definitely don't need this many farmers at this point. Actually, these guys are, I wouldn't say thriving, but they're existing. Okay. We're going to land over here. We're going to start taking some stone, start taking some gold, all that good stuff. Because if we can get well set up in southern Borneo, we should be, like, really good to go. Yeah, just having... Well, one, taking out this uh, camp over here is going to completely stop any raids into Borneo. And will only make them vulnerable in this little stretch of water. Which is super good. That means pretty much all of our colonies are guaranteed safe. Whoa, that's scary though. Let's get those castle resources, boys. Hey, heater, you're annoying, but necessary. Why haven't these guys resigned yet? It's kind of annoying. Uh, n no. I destroyed your freaking town center, man. Oh, that's not great. Hey, too much eek. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, those aren't friendly. Well, crap. I believe. Or new quick walls. Those don't work versus archers. Come on, come on, just focus the... Wait, how'd you guys get in? Oh, the fail. Oh, I hope I deleted that castle and it wasn't, uh, you know, destroyed. The colorblind in me is not a big fan of all this red and green and blue. Because it's very hard for me to differentiate. Especially at an angle. I am colorblind, in case you guys didn't know. I, I'm not making that up. <laughs>
Guess just make some karambits. Alrighty, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, I, I do not think Kajimata is like only a medium campaign. I definitely put it in one of the harder campaigns. I don't think it's the hardest. Like, I don't think any one mission in this camp, uh, this campaign is like, you know, would be in my top, whatever list, top hardest campaign scenario list. But they're all pretty hard. Or if not like super hard per se, at least a challenge. There we go. Did they just say that twice? Or am I crazy? I don't know. You were not necessary. Wait, why aren't they attack? Huh? Just getting some leak karambits just to have something. So I have transport ships hanging around everywhere. Except where I need them. With that castle up, though, and a little bit more gold income. And maybe even some more stone income as well. I think I'm going to be pretty well set to take down Tumashik. I think the big thing for me now would be getting up some towers along the coast here. That'd be sick. Anyway, need more meaty ships. And also some cannon galleons. Anyway, North Borneo is functioning just fine. Tsuba Basie and Bali are totally fine. Okay. Oh, there's a relic here. Sure. Let us begin. Okay, no more stone. You know, I hate to take directly from my allies, but hey, they're just going to attribute it to me anyway, right? What I really don't need is any more food income. Why did they... Oh, that was weird. They got, like, stuck inside each other. Anyway, now our navy's pretty huge. Uh, so is theirs. But I believe... Oh. Also kind of getting caught up with Dharma Shraya. Which is why... Wanted to get some towers up over here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I do feel like even just a few towers here would be real helpful. Well, can of galleons aren't too useful here. Oh, yeah, that's right, they have bombard towers. Okay, now gold income is super low again. It's a little bit of a concern. I, mean, I guess I could go to Bali, but... Uh, how? Uh, 48 gold is not too bad for trade cogs. That is a gold amount I can live with. I mean, I need something. Trade cog is Z. Get some. Oh, hey, we all we have three colonies. Okay. Onward and upward. Yeah, this this should be really helpful. With just like a few ships hanging around at home, I don't think uh, Dharma Shraya can do much to attack us. Thank you, dearest allies. Oh wait, there's some gold here. It's not even stealing from allies. Now you can see that Tumushik here is pretty well fortified. Remember, they do uh, all your enemies except for soon to have heated shot. Look at our keeps. Defending our shoreline. Doing that thing. 194 stone! The worth! Now all we need is for southern Borneo to have, you know, existence. <laughs> Look at these speedy guys. Um. Still though, like these these cubes are doing so much work in helping defend our back. Wait, what happened to my can galleons? Oh, they're right here. But How quickly does this die? Eh, pretty, pretty damn quickly. Oh boy, DE pathing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done this uh, build a bunch of keeps over here in uh, where Sunda was. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that before. I think that's a good adaptation.
Because, yeah, a bunch of keeps with heated shot, pretty good for locking down a position against ships. Uh, they do have a castle somewhere. I mean, when I say somewhere, I mean, like, right here. <laughs> I just realized, what's this? Is this just a bunch of horses garrisoned inside the, themselves so that the various settlers aren't defeated? Probably. This just looks like nothing. Oh, I never uh, got the relic. Whoops. Whoopsies! Yeah, there's the castle. And hopefully we'll be uh, getting them to resign at least fairly soon. Whoops, this is too close. Look at the rice patties over here. If you can see the mini-map, see the basic outline of uh, Indonesia. Although Borneo looks kind of weird, kind of smushed. Definitely a lengthy one, again. Oh yeah, here's uh, here's Dharma Shraya if you wanted to go for them. And I have gone for them before. They have uh, the one castle here. They have the two town centers. And then they, I mean, you saw the military units they made. I think uh, Tumashik has some uh, miners over here. But yeah, they, they have a very big spread out base. Uh, the way I beat it was Arbalest plus... Uh, bombard cannon. Just slowly pushing across. That's how I how I did it. And then I just had a bunch of like uh, fast fire ships patrolling around here to deal with Tumashik. And I also uh, built a castle over here to prevent the raids. Anyway, let's uh, do that. Even my closest friends doubted me. Grass doubted you? I proved my worth. One by one, our mighty armies and majestic fleets conquered the surrounding islands. From Bali, the island of the gods, to the old ruins of the Srivijaya Empire. All now and Srivijaya was kind of on uh, Empire, north central uh, Sumatra, support. as well as uh, southern Malaysia. Oh yeah, KD is still broken, in case that wasn't incredibly obvious. Anyway, that is the Oath to Unify Nusantara. And next up, we'll be going eastward with Serving the New King. See you guys then.